사실은 11, we ended up splitting off with the couple that we came with so we went back to Myeongdong Street I told you guys before I wanted to go back so we stopped into this place called Top 10 this kind of reminded me of Uniqlo I was eyeing these pajamas but they didn't have any size small so I decided to pass but the price on this this is like 7 USD I went back to Olive Young I ended up picking up all the things that I was eyeing in the first trip from the morning and then I stopped into a few stores around they had a lot of cute like makeup stores and everything is just so aesthetically pleasing I just I wish that I would have went into more of them but yeah I saw pretty much the same stores that I went to yesterday and then went into a few more I ended up going into this accessory shop and the lady she was really nice she was trying to help me but she just kept on following me everywhere it's to the point where I couldn't look at stuff so I just decided to leave and then I stopped into Sapon which I've been eyeing for a few months now their shoes are so nice and they are so cheap like the flats are $20 I think everything that I bought was on sale so I ended up only spending 50 US dollars on two pairs of shoes which is like amazing the quality of these shoes are really good also and they just had such a wide selection so i was so excited to try these shoes on so after i finished in there i stopped in emis i have been eyeing this brand for a while i wanted to pick up one of their hats for the gym and then once we got back to the hotel we just decided to get ramen and we asked the hotel to order chicken for us we were supposed to have dinner i think it's six but my boyfriend and i ended up falling asleep for almost three hours so we had to find a local place because the place we were originally going to go to ended up closing and then we went to Baskin Robbins which was amazing so the next day we got up around 11 we wanted to go to this viral nail mall in Dongdaemun so we ended up taking the subway here and I think the ride was only like 20 or 30 minutes so i think we had to refill our tea money cards but yeah when we got here the area kind of reminded me of jersey and queens just the way the buildings like 
were laid out and also here is where they have like they sell wholesale clothes so a lot of those shops that you see on the street this is where they buy their clothes from but this mall kind of reminded me of a flea market because they had so many things in here they also sold some fake bags in here i saw when i was going up the escalator i was like is that an hermes birkin in the flea market but yeah this place had a ton of stuff i wish that we would have looked around but i knew we were going to spend so much time in this nail mall so we ended up just going straight up so the nail mall was on the 16th floor and i've seen so many videos on this place so basically they have a ton of nail supplies so they have nail charms uh, like filers, brushes, polishes, gel polishes. They also had some lash stuff in here and I was really excited to try this out because I feel like places like this in the States, you usually need a license to shop here and the prices were so cheap. I think it was between 8,000, not even 8,000 won. It's basically like 80 cents, if that makes sense. <laughs> And then 2,000 won, so that's like not even 80 cents USD, it's like 50 cents. I ended up paying like 50 cents for some charms, so I picked out so many things. When I tell you they had like rows and rows of options, I was actually getting overwhelmed. They also had glitter, like just so much stuff i really want to start doing nail art videos so that's why i was really excited to go here a lot of the collections that i wanted to buy were sold out because they're really popular but yeah i still got a huge variety of things i had to have two people help me and since i picked out so much stuff i was able to pick out seven charms so i really love this place so we ended up taking the bus i think it was like a 30 minute ride my friend had a nail appointment here and i was thinking about getting my nails done but i just decided not to so while we were waiting for her we checked out the neighborhood and when i tell you this was probably my favorite neighborhood that i have checked out in seoul i just really liked it i think i liked the fashion here a lot of the like clothing shops that i had saved on instagram and stuff and that i've been following for a while were here so i was so excited i was also excited to try out this perfume brand called Nonfiction. This is a Korean brand and I believe you can only buy it in Korea. They might sell it online, but it's definitely a lot more expensive than buying it here. And I really wanted to buy a fragrance that reminded me of my trip because you guys know I'm very into fragrances. So I just wanted something that reminded me of this. I also wanted to go into Tambourines, but they were having like an influencer event because I think they just opened up their new like flagship store so unfortunately i couldn't check it out but i really really love this neighborhood i just thought it was so cute it kind of reminded me of soho a little bit like it's, it kind of has like that cool factor to it and i didn't realize that this is one of the most like wealthiest neighborhoods in seoul like you could definitely see it once you got there because i was like wow this is really nice but i really like this place and then we also went into this wine shop and what i loved about this was once you bought a bottle you could actually go upstairs and enjoy it so it's like so much better than a restaurant like you know how they upcharge you for a bottle at the restaurant here you just buy whatever the price of the bottle is and you can sit down and open it so i really like this they also had like snacks there i think we bought crackers or something they didn't sell food but this is a really cute like date idea if you're in the area we're at the wine shop for about an hour and a half and then we ended up buying another bottle because our friends met up with us after her nail appointment was finished and we wanted to go to a soy but we just didn't have enough time they went into this store called like stussy i think it's called stussy <laughs> stussy <laughs> And there was a long line so it just took some time so we decided to go to a soy another day but my boyfriend and i did another little photo booth and i'm not gonna lie i was a little drunk in love and i was a little wine drunk so i feel like <laughs> i was just i was living my best life in this photo booth but it was super cute really fun but yeah that is it for this week's soul vlog i hope you guys enjoyed the next vlog will be coming out very soon and i'll talk to you guys next time bye